Hey, so today we are doing our very next in the series of pipe cleaner craft kits. This is the super adorable panda in a craft kit by Daiso Japan. The cool $1.50 store um, or 100 yen store, however you want to say it. They provide these ultra cute craft kits which make a great idea for a rainy day or just a board day or a new hobby if you want to get into it. Um, they come in needle felt, pipe cleaner, and one that's made with yarn called a pom-pom kit. Now, I've made the bear previously, and the bear was just a one star. And so today, we're going to crack into this cute panda, which is a two star. Now Alright, so here we go inside. All right, so <laughs> I like how it says includes recipe. <laughs> now, by recipe, I will assume that they mean these very lengthy photographic directions that they have here from point A to Z, 33 different directions. Um, also, here is our pipe cleaners we have two a black and a white of course very long and here are our eye parts Oops. eye and nose in there together and as usual they always give us extras so in case we happen to drop these because they are so little so let's get right to it. Um, pinch a little part down here so that way we don't actually get um, poked. Now we're going to take about five centimeters, which is about right here. You can measure it yourself, but I kind of know by like um, heart now. So we have five centimeters here for the neck. Then we're going to bend it in three centimeters. And I found the best way to do the coil is to wrap it around your finger. So we're going to coil once twice three times now at this point it asked us to insert the black so we're going to take the black and insert it through the middle and we're going to connect that we want to hold this and connect that around like that boom so now we're going to go ahead and he wants us to bring this through the middle here. We're going to hold that. Bring it through the third. Just like so. And I put my finger in there just to tuck it so I can make sure it gets in there good. Now we're going to bring it around the other side. And through, push it on through. There we go. Same thing. Now we've made our little spots for the ears. It's going to do it again, going all the way through pushing in front of the black that we just did before. So see how it's going to come out the very, very front of my fingers if I can just push it through. Come on, come on, don't do me. There it is. And we wanted to make it a little bigger. Push it back. And we're going to go up. And do the same thing through again. This time securing that black again. Go all the way through. We'll find it. Just push it through. Boom. Now we made our ears. So the ears should be a little bit bigger and they should be to the back. Now our next step is to take the white and bring it around the 
Why does the little hair like this? Oops, sorry, there's our direction. And we're gonna bring it around again. Around the front of the neck and back up and over. Boom. Okay. See there? You may need to make some adjustments to make your little face right, but that's what you got. Okay. Now I'm going to turn them around. Now you should have one piece back here. Pull it. Oops. That back. Push your uh, white all the way back. All the way through this one right here. Pulling it. So we'll see. I'm gonna make some adjustments again. Our next step is to take the white and then go through and make a bottom layer right here. Go through the two. first row of black that we made you're gonna go around behind it around 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 between the other side and then come back around sorry I'm getting did I get off the camera sorry I hope I didn't all right so we're gonna pull the little black back through now we're gonna take it to the back and pass it through take it and pass it through these two up here at the top it's tough to get your fingers in there you can do it and try not to catch the ear and bring it in like that our next Ta -da, step so is to have... secure so we have this now we are to bring it down through this right here so Oops, there's what we're gonna do. See now, you see how I have two? I'm bringing it all the way down between those. There it is, poking out of the bottom there. And that is how we've secured our face. So now we're gonna start making the body. So it's really rather easy. You're just gonna take um, six centimeters out for the arm and then twist to secure another six centimeters out for the other arm kind of want to make sure they're symmetrical so I usually just kind of touch them together and twist that guy then we want eight centimeters for the uh, so you should end up with a star and you want the other part of the black to go up over his shoulder and then you're gonna take it around the back and the neck end again and bring it back down the back through the legs, through the back, and then over again between his legs, right? 
So now you had this little piece of white that was sticking out from previously his little neck, right? What you want to do is you want to tuck that in right here, making kind of like a little ball or kind of like a little uh, diaper of sorts for him. Now you're going to go back around, coil it once. Bring it back around, tuck it through that little portion in the back that you made. And push it in. Now you're gonna wanna bring that out and around and ball it in. And that makes his little tail. So now you can go around the front and fix it up the way you so like. So now it's time for the final fun step. Which and there he is, our panda. All finished. It's been a ball. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out with me and my adorable friend here. This was my second attempt at a pipe cleaner kit and I made it through a level two. So um, thank you for tuning in. Like and subscribe if you'd like to continue to see me on my journey through the quest of crafting. <laughs> um, I enjoy each and every one of these so I will continue to keep doing them. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. Toodaloo. <laughs>